Hey y'all, it's Matt. I'm back with another Whiskey and Windage review. Today, we're gonna to talk about Atlantic Arms Manufacturing, AK Kit Builds. Uh, more specifically, my Romanian PM90 that they put together. Uh, Atlantic is a, an importer a distributor of, of firearms. They also get surplus AK kits um, and put them back together on a US receiver to then, of course, resale. So I don't have any experience with any of their other kits. My only experience is with this specific rifle. Um, I'm just going to share my thoughts on that. I do want to preface that I don't have any sort of business relationship with Atlantic Arms. Um, really, this is just a, a straight up consumer review on something I actually paid money for. They didn't send it out to me. Um, they don't help me out in any way uh, as of yet. So just just my outlook on on this thing as, as an, a consumer of Kalashnikov rifles. So... This is a Romanian PM90 kit. Uh, in the AK kit world, you can't import a full, you can't import a, a weapon of war, a full auto, automatic Romanian machine gun. So these are cut down into kits before they're imported. So they cut the barrel, they cut the receiver, and you take the main parts, uh, strip all the parts off of it, build it up on a US receiver. It's now a US gun and can be sold to United States civilians. So. Uh, PM90 kit that they put together on a Morrissey receiver. Um, I've had it a while, put put a, only about five, 600 rounds through it so far. Uh, it's not my primary like fighting rifle or anything, but I bought this one off of a friend who is needing the money to, to work on another project, who is needing the money to work on another project. Um, I was a little skeptical at first because their prices... If you're into AKs, you know that the, the market's just been pumping on AKs the last couple years. Um, and so it's it's getting hard to find a pretty nice uh, AK for under a thousand bucks. I don't think Atlantic is still making these kits. I think they ran out of these kits, but they've always got some sort of AK kit where they, they got the kits, had them put together and, and they're selling it. Um, again, skeptical on the price because they're inexpensive as, as far as a kit built AK goes. They're not, not, not real spendy, but I can't say enough good things about the quality of this rifle for, for that pricing. The wood is beautiful. Um, this is their battlefield pickup look. So it's, you know, got all the highlights to make it look like a, like an old rifle, like it was used in battle. And I think they freaking nailed that look. The wood's a little worn out. <clears throat> Great Bakelite. Finishing's a little worn. I think it's freaking beautiful. Um, the rivets look great. Uh, nice domes to them. I can't see any light shining, shining underneath the, the head of them. Nothing is loose. The trigger is pretty freaking good. Um, Really, it's buttery smooth, and I think that they must have done some work on the on the carrier and the hammer where where those wear parts are happening because it's it's freaking smooth. So all in all, really, I I think for the pricing, it's a it's a really great option. A lot of people looking around at imports and and kit builds and are 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 definitely kind of uh, got some price shock as far as AKs go. Um, especially if you're new to the AK world and you're like, oh yeah, AK, well, let me try to check that out. Oh, every freaking one of them is a couple thousand dollars. Well, for the money, I think Atlantic is definitely a great uh, starter AK. They are using kits, so the parts are legitimate AK parts um, from from whatever country of origin. Sometimes they got Romanian or, or Russians or Hungarians. And they label them appropriately. This one also happens to be a numbers matching kit. So all the serialized parts are numbers matching. And I think it's a, a great thing to be able to add to a collection. Especially if you're, you're interested in picking up an AK. 
holding on to it for a while and see if they continue to, to grow in value. But uh, I'm, I've been very impressed, very, very impressed. It's a sweet shooter. This one doesn't have like any, any notorious AK things like canted sights. They took a lot of time in making sure that, that front sight and rear sight are lined up nice and straight. This is a straight shooter. Um, I might upgrade the trigger, but really it's a, it, the, the trigger's fine. Um, if you're some sort of super tactical trigger snob, you might, you might disagree. But for an AK built on surplus AK parts, I think it has a great trigger. It has really freaking smooth action, and uh, I'm I'm impressed. Back with the range portion of my Atlantic uh, manufacturing Romanian PM90 kit build. So sorry about the wind; it's blowing pretty hard out here today. Uh, a little cold, so let's heat her up. Huh? So if you haven't already, get over to Atlantic Arms, check out the AKs, the imports that they have in. Uh, they usually have a pretty good price on those, as well as their in-house kit builds. Um, I don't know what they're doing, but they're able to get those out at, at, at pretty good prices. Depending on the country of origin and rarity of the kit, of course the price, price range is going to fluctuate a little bit. But uh, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck in the Atlantic Arms kit builds. Another great option that they have is that you can just get a barreled, assem uh, barreled assembly. So it's basically just the receiver, the barrel, everything's all head spaced and put together. But it doesn't have any furniture or accessories on it. So if you want to buy that, do the transfer, and then you can build out your dream AK in you know stocks and hand guards and and all the accessories that you want. And it'll save you a couple of bucks over buying a complete rifle, stripping everything off of it, and then putting on what, what it is that you actually want. But this has been uh, Matt from Burning Powder Kick and Brass with Whiskey and Windage Reviews, the Atlantic Arms Manufacturing AKs, uh, their in-house kit built. I think they're good to go. Appreciate y'all checking us out. Stay tuned for Whiskey and Windage Reviews. Um, Mike from OCA, Adam from Silver Bullet, and myself are trying to put a, a review out every week. So there's always fresh content here for you guys. And also, every Tuesday on Whiskey and Windage Podcasts, we have a new episode on Spotify and here on YouTube. So click that like button. Share this video if you found it uh, helpful or think somebody else might find it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe. We love y'all. Have a great day.